So in this video, I want to show you how to integrate two great tools for your literature review. One of them is Zotero, which is probably the most popular reference manager next to Mendeley. It's a completely free tool that allows you to store, manage your references, uh, format references automatically in Word and lots of really good stuff. And then the second tool is Jenny AI, which is a new AI tool that's really helpful for structuring your text. It allows you to chat with PDF documents. It will suggest um, references for your text, it will help you to paraphrase, it will help you to um, check your text and improve its readability. There's tons of features that Jenny AI has, but the question is how to integrate these two really great tools because unfortunately there isn't a um, Zotero automatic integration for Jenny AI like there is for Chrome. So you have to do a little bit of manual work, but I'll show you exactly how to do this in this video. Now, if you're new here, my name is Marek Kiczkovek and I run Academic English Now, where we help PhD students and researchers write and publish papers in high-impact Scopus index journals. So we basically have two great tools for writing your literature review. I'll start with Jenny AI. I won't do like a full breakdown of how exactly it works. I have another video where I show you exactly how to use it for writing um, research papers. But just for those of you who aren't aware of what Jenny AI is and what it can do for you in terms of not just writing a literature review, writing all sorts of academic texts, it can help you to generate an outline of a text basically in just a couple of seconds you give it a prompt and it generates a pretty accurate um, outline um, other things that it can do for you it will also suggest um, references right so if you type in at um, like I'm doing here um, it's going to look up references um, either in um, databases such as Google Scholar um, Scopus and so on or you can also upload files to Jenny and it will suggest which of these files might be a good fit for this um, particular piece um, of text. Um, it's also great for improving the readability um, of your text, so we can improve the fluency of the text. You can paraphrase things. So let's say you've got a text from the literature and you don't know how to paraphrase it. You can come in here, paste it. Jenny will paraphrase it for you. Uh, she can also help you to simplify um, a text um, or if you get stuck, right, and you've written, you know, maybe one sentence, you don't know how to expand on it, you can make the text longer, you can even translate stuff, you know, so if you're writing a little bit in your first language, Jenny can help you to translate this um, to English, or also summarize and write opposing points of view. So there's lots of really good stuff that Jenny can help you to do, um, not to mention the AI chat, so you can basically, you know, ask Jenny AI any questions um, you want about the document. So think of it as just basically having, like, like a really knowledgeable colleague next to you, basically 24 seven, whom you can ask any questions you want about the document. So it will really help you to be more fluent with your writing and avoid this, you know, blank page uh, syndrome where you're just stuck and you don't know what to do, right? Um, so if you haven't created your free account on Jenny, um, it's completely free. There's a link in the description of this video um, and I'll put it in the comments as well. You can click on that and create your um, free account on Jenny. And if you wanna go for the paid feature, if you use the code MAREK20, you can also get an additional 20% off on any of the um, paid plans. So that's Jenny, it's a, it's a great tool. And as I said, it will suggest um, references um, for you if you use at. So you could basically write a whole text, right? and you know have references um, in that text. Now the question is how do you combine it with Zotero which is the traditional reference manager and at the end of the day you will have to probably export this text from here to for example Microsoft Word, right? So you will need those references from Jenny, you will need to sync them with um, Zotero, right, which is the traditional um, reference manager and it's a really good system. It allows you to sort of automatically add references, you know, uh, from, from a paper, you can save them to Zotero and then when you're in Microsoft Word, it also allows you to automatically add references, format them and so on. So um, there are basically two options for how we can sync them and we're going to start with the first option which is going from Jenny to Zotero and then I'll show you how you can go from Zotero to Jenny. So let's say you've been writing a text in Jenny AI, right? That's your kind of primary um, editor 
and that's kind of where your references are. Uh, you've looked up several references because there's a library in here, right? So maybe you've you've added some text into the library, you found the text, right? Jenny has suggested some text, and you've got a reference text. You've got a reference list. So how do you sync it with Zotero? Well, the first thing that you've got to do is um, go to the references, right? If you haven't added a reference list, then you will need to add it. Uh, but basically you click on copy as bib text, so not copy to clipboard, but copy as bib text. And then you head to Zotero, and then you're going to go to um, uh, file, uh, import from clipboard, okay? And then you see it's just imported three items, three items were imported, right? Um, so. The best way to do it is to, you know, is to choose a folder. Uh, so you could create a folder in here, okay, and call it uh, Jenny's references, okay, um, and then upload those references, um, import from clipboard, uh, and import them here into that folder. So that's so that's pretty simple. That's how you would put those references into Zotero. So any new references, for example, that Jenny generated for you, because as I said, if you type add uh, and you go to discover, uh, Jenny will discover references for you, right? So there might be some new things that you don't have in Zotero yet. So that's how you would import them. And at the end of the video, like what I'm going to show you as well, is how to delete duplicates. Because with this process, what's likely to happen is that you're going to have duplicate references in Zotro because some of the uh, references that you will have copied from Jenny you might have already have them in Zotro which will lead to duplicates and then further problems so stick around until the end of the video because I'm going to show you how to get rid of those duplicates okay so that's a pretty simple process from going from Jenny AI to Zotro and importing your references from Jenny to Zotro but now let's say you've primarily been working with Microsoft Word and using Zotro to save your references. So how do you get those references into Jenny so that you can chat with those PDF documents, you can ask them questions, and also use them already as um, citations, right, in your text? Well, there, are, there is basically one simple option for it. And what you want to do is, again, you want to you wanna decide whether you're um, importing the whole folder like the whole library, so like all the text that you have, or you're just focusing on one um, folder because maybe you're writing a specific part of your literature review or a text on a specific topic and you just need some of those references and not all of them. So let's just assume like we're going to do one folder, okay? Uh, so what you want, you want to select that folder and you want to go to File, um, Export Library, Okay, and then you want to format it as, as bib text. And now, um, important, um, you either want to export files or not. Well, what is the difference? Well, if you want the PDFs, right, to be stored in Jenny so that you can ask questions about those PDFs and chat with those documents, which I think is pretty useful, then you want to click on export files, right? And if you have any annotations on the on the files in Zotro itself, because Zotro has a PDF reader, so maybe you've made some highlights and you made some notes, then you want to include them. Now, you could also just export the, um, the reference information without the files if you don't need to read those PDFs again, because maybe you've already read them, so it's just kind of pointless to have them in your um, Jenny library and you just want the reference information so that you can easily um, cite it in Zotro. Okay, so these are the two options, either export or uh, files or not. I'm not going to click on export files, um, format bib text, very important. You click OK, right, and it's then it's going to prompt you to save it uh, somewhere. So I'm just going to um, call it um, Jenny, let's call it uh, Jenny and then today's date okay and then I'm gonna save it now it's exporting so we want to head to Jenny then and we want to go to library okay and then we want to click on this plus sign um, so um, you want to import bib text okay uh, so you click on that um, and then you select file okay so you select file and open import to library. 
okay it didn't want to um, upload them here and I made a mistake so what you need to do is you know apart from just selecting a folder right you need to select the all the all the text in that folder or some of the text whichever text you want to you want to upload right and then we go to file and um, export library or we right click here and export items and then bib text either export files with annotations or not now we're going to export it okay and I'm going to save it and then select file okay this is this is very strange I thought I would get like a success message which you normally do and this window would disappear and I was wondering what's going wrong is it me just going insane or this software stopped working I think there is an error because this window doesn't close even though my references have been uploaded correctly because you can see now here I've got the first file import that we called import Jenny um, and it's importing um, the, the, um, the files in here right so they will now be in my library and they will be ready to cite so now all those files that you know you imported from Zotro you'll be able to cite them here and then you know you'll be able to sync between um, Jenny AI and Zotro now I promise you and thanks for staying until the end of the video I promise you that I would um, show you how to get rid of um, duplicate items in Zotro right you know because there's no direct sync between the two softwares by the way if anybody at Jenny is watching this please please try to get like um, you know two-way sync between Zotro and Jenny it's probably really difficult I know nothing about tech but if it is possible it will make Jenny so much easier and better to use uh, just a thought um, anyway you want to go to duplicate items because what happens is that you know when you're kind of copying importing exporting those bib text files um, some of the references like will just duplicate because you already had them in Zotro and then you imported them again from Jenny and that kind of stuff uh, but it's very easy you just go to in the left hand menu you go to duplicate items right and you can see I've got this one in here right that says Jenkins twice and it's the same thing so you just wanna you've got two files in here right you wanna look at the information in each of them just to see if it's the same or there is something different um, about it okay uh, this one looks pretty similar but like this one says first edition this doesn't say anything so it's kind of like um, slightly slightly different right October 11 2013 this one says 6th of August uh, 2013 so it's different information what I, what I would do then is I would always select the most recent file okay uh, because this will contain the most recent up-to-date information right so um, as the master item you want to select the newest one when there are differences between between the files and then you want to click on merge two items please do not delete any duplicates that's very important you just want to click on merge two items right and then you see it disappeared right so that's how you get rid of duplicates so that's how you can sync between Jenny AI and Zotro. Now, if you're looking for more personalized support on writing your literature review, on publishing papers in top Scopus Index journals, then definitely schedule a free one-to-one -one consultation with my team. We're going to sit one-to-one -one, um, with you on Zoom or Google Meet and discuss what your current challenges are, what's stopping you from being able to achieve your academic goals, and then we'll together devise a plan uh, that will help you to achieve those goals faster. Now, if that sounds interesting, then there is a link to schedule that free one-to-one -one consultation and it's in the description and in the comments to this video.